Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to give a preview of tonight's uh, showdown slate between the Bengals and the the Bills. I'm going to be going live, uh, you know, a little bit later, but I want to give at least a preview, um, and then we'll do kind of a sample build with uh, with Saber Sim. You know, it's kind of a breath of fresh air this game. Uh, it's number one because, well, it's two really good teams playing a prime time game, which doesn't happen too often nowadays. And the other thing is. It's also very rare for two top teams to be playing with kind of full motivation in these last two weeks of the season. Um, both of them are, are are vying for very important seating. So you're probably going to get their best games. Um, the first thing I would say is um, for those of you who've been following my analysis of games like this during the whole season, you probably know what my initial take is going to be is that if you do bet sports, I have a very, very strong recommendation that you bet uh, the under in the first half, whatever that is. Uh, usually uh, these games between these two, between high powered offenses like this, they usually kind of feel themselves out in the first half. Like these KC Buffalo games, these KC Cincinnati, all games like this. This is what tends to happen as far as I've been able to observe and, the few times I've taken a shot at this uh, angle uh, has worked out. So uh, I, I would I would lean towards the under in the first half. Um, and that's pretty much the only sports betting advice I have for this. With respect to the, the showdown slate, um, um, I did put my sheets up here. Up here and the, the, the value here is very, um, I wouldn't say... I guess fishy is a best is kind of one way to describe it. I mean, at the top, I mean, Josh Allen and Joe Burrow obviously are two extremely strong plays and they're being, they're being priced accordingly. You know, I have the captain's salary up here, but even in the flex, I mean, they're both very, very expensive. And then the top receivers on both teams, that being Jamar Chase and Stefan Diggs are, are over 10 K. And then you have um, Joe Mixon at nine K top running back on the slate. And T. Higgins at ninety eight hundred. So, so at the top, it's really, really no bargain. And the problem with with the Bills running backs is that you don't even know well which, who the top running back is. I mean, Devin Singletary still sort of is, but um, what's his name? Uh, Cook has been really picking up steam, and they're being priced pretty, pretty sharply. You know, I think Singletary seven K and um, Cook fifty six hundred. I think that's pretty reasonable. You know. Um, I think between the two of them, you get most of the work. I mean, if not all the work, you don't exactly know which, which way it's going to go. So um, I, th I think they did a good job of pricing this. So I imagine that when you start building, let's say you were doing it by hand and you wanted to build, uh, you want to start with Burrow. No, let's, let's put Chase in the captain, for example. Put Chase in the captain. I just want to see something. And then with Burrow and Higgins, and then let's say let's just let's just say you want you're already out of money, right? I mean, it's so difficult to to play everybody you want on a slate like this. And we've had slates where you could play whoever you want, and this is definitely not one of them. Like even if you do this, you know, chasing the captain with Burrow and Higgins, you're already out of money. Well, I shouldn't say you're out of money; you're out of bills. You know, you can't play any, you can't play Josh Allen. You can't you can't play literally you can't play anybody. You can't play Josh Allen, you can't play Stefan Diggs, you can't play Gabe Davis, he's 6,400. Even if you're gonna completely punt the rest of the positions. So it's a very, very difficult build tonight. Um, that's looking at Cincinnati. Even if you're just gonna play one receiver and then like one run back, I mean, look what you got. This is really, really tough. Um so what's going to end up happening is I think that these other receivers like Gabe Davis are going to be probably higher owned than you would have thought. You know, you put Davis in the captain, at least it becomes, I mean, somewhat playable, but then even still, I mean, then what, what are you going to do? You, then who, who's your run back here? You want to play, you want to just play Higgins, not even let you play chase. You're only saving 800 by going down. And, then what? I mean, my point is you can do it. You can play from here. You can play your Tyler Boyds and your kickers and defense and stuff and your Dawson Knoxes, but this is all you get. I mean, you get three good players at, you know what I mean? At In, in these lineups, which makes lineup construction really difficult. I mean, what, what you end up having to, to consider 
is whether you want to go all the way down to guys like um like Kahil Shakir, you know, who's who's 800. You know, he could get zero, you know. Um let me see. I, mean, I would love to know if he's actually if he has any zeros in him. Yeah, I mean he's got zeros in, in his arsenal and he sometimes he gets nothing, you know. So so are you gonna play him? Or the other cheapo that I'm looking at is Naheem Himes. At 18, well, he's like 1,200, right? Um, I mean, this is this is who you want to play, but this is what you're reduced to. It's it's a really, really tough build here. And you don't want to play the defenses because of how high, high potency offenses. Um, the tight ends, at least that makes sense. You know, Hayden Hurst at 3K. Dawson Knox, as I mentioned, you, you want to try that build? You want to try to play, like, what does that give you? You play Dawson Knox, for example, in the captain. And you play him with, with Josh. I mean, you got a, one of these quarterbacks, right? I mean, one of them's got to be the optimal. And you play Josh Allen, and then and then maybe even the other. Boy, oh, boy. What if you didn't play any of the wide receivers and just play the tight ends? What, 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 then what can you do? Well, then you can do something, right? You could then you could do this. Like if you don't play Diggs, Higgins, or Chase, then you could play. Because you know what you could do then? Then you could play. Well, you could even play one of these. You could play Chase here. So so this is the lineup. Like you're gonna need to play only at most one. Of these big guys, and then you know what you could do. Look, then, then you can go play like Gabe Davis or something like that. So this is this is an offensive build that you can play. You get Chase and Davis, and then you could play Knox in the captain, and then you get like some legitimate players. And that's one thing you you you, you could do. Okay, but it, I, hopefully you can agree that it is a very difficult, very difficult build uh, in and of itself. So what I want to do is I want to run a um, run a build on SaberSim and see if um, see what that would look like. Um, hold on. Oh, okay. Uh, Shakira is this is this is this, this. Okay. So let's. Oh, after after do this again. Hold on a minute. We'll upload the projections from the, well, this is from my own files, but just to see what it would look like. These are the same projections that I'm putting up on TrueDFS. Um, we'll use the 150 max sliders. Let's just see what they look like. I don't know if I set any salary constraints. Let's take a look. I wonder how much of those bow wows you get. Mm. Yeah, so you could do it, right? So look at some of these lineups. You get Isaiah McKenzie in a bunch. You know, you get Chase, but you don't get you can't get two top receivers. But but you know what? Nobody can get two top receivers, so it's fine. Okay. Um the, the quick answer is no, I don't want to play the defenses today. Uh I don't expect either either team to generate a lot of turnovers. Um, before I'd punt at defense, I would punt at like tight end or something like that, or kicker even. So it's not going to be a defensive slate for me, at least. Um, I guess that's pretty much it. You know, uh, just I, I would I would trust the projections on a slate like this. I would use Saber Sim to mass multi entry, and you can hand build. I mean, you can get there, but just don't expect to get too much of the of of those high priced receivers you you won't be able to get more than one i don't think without really making some concessions or like you can certainly not play your quarterbacks also but something like this with two talented quarterbacks like that i just don't think that you can just play these tight ends naked naked meaning without the quarterback correlation and and still hope to get there um i guess that's all i have for just kind of a really quick early look. We'll go over more of this when we go over the slate a little bit later on.